Hey folks, welcome back to My Kitten Reads. I'm Eleanor and this is my Dewey's 24 Hour Readathon April 2024 TBR. Um, actually, most of it's digital. This is just a handful of uh, um, physical books that I might be using, but most of it is digital this time around. Um, yes, it's Dewey's time again, time for TBR. Um, I'm hoping it'll go well. My back is still a little bit dodgy, but this over the week, it has actually made some pretty significant progress. It's just, I saw my chiropractor this morning. It just took my, how do I describe it? Structurally, I'm much improved, but it's taking the muscles a, t a while to settle back down. So I've been feeling a bit like a walking bruise. But um, hopefully this weekend, it'll settle down even further. Um, it's Dewey's. Um, starts at 10 p.m. on Saturday night for me uh, and finishes 10 p.m. on Sunday night. It's going to be sort of interesting because there's actually a hell of a lot of hockey games being televised to me on Sunday and a Formula E race. So I might be doing a lot of reading in front of sport, um, particularly as the Penguins are playing. And uh, yes, as of today, we are sitting in the last wild card spot for our conference, but we are only one point ahead of three different teams and we're playing the Bruins, who are a very good team. So anyway, TBR. TBR for uh, Dewey's this, this April. So um, one of the things I've sort of gone is I'm prioritizing books that I've already started, try and get them off my list. Um, but there are a few other things to give me options here as well. So first things first, um, I only have just over an hour left of uh, listening to Dead Famous by uh, Greg Jenner. Um, this is his book about the history the unexpected history of celebrity as a concept. Um, so I'm close to finishing that. So if I don't finish it tomorrow doing something, um, then that at some point during the readathon, I'll try and listen to the last hour of that. Uh, so hopefully getting that ticked off. Um, then I have been actually reading this week, uh, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Hannah, Heather Fawcett. Finally, uh, picked this up again and I'm getting through it at a bit of a pace so um, I've been reading sort of a little bit most days uh, when I'm not too distracted wasn't too distracted by my assignment which I submitted last night so it's out of the way um, so yes uh, that I definitely want to get finished um, this weekend so that is on my TBR for readathon to finish off that um, after that couple of ebooks that I have going. I have recently started Small Miracles by Olivia Atwater, which is a sort of, I think maybe a novella length story, or I don't think it's quite a novel, uh, about angels and fallen angels and petty temptations. And it's sort of queer. Um, and it's been a bit fun so far, but I'm not very far into it yet. So that's on my list. Uh, also on my list is Re Reed Herring Hunt. Um, by V.M. Burns, which is the second in the series of Cozy Mysteries by V.M. Burns that I am reading um, about a bookshop owner and writer. Um, and that is also on my list. It's been sort of lagging because I haven't been doing any exercise because of my back, which means I haven't been to the gym, which means I haven't really been reading my ebooks much. So that's on my list as well. If I want to try and get through that, um, that is an author of colour, which I'm I haven't really, I've only really finished one book this, this so far this, uh, this month because I've been so distracted by back and by uni stuff. So, uh, that is on my definite list of things I want to make progress on. Then other things that I have already started, um, Elizabeth Barrett Browning, Aura Lee and other poems. I'm partway through Aura Lee. When I say partway through Aura Lee, this poem is like 300 pages long. So, um, and I'm only like 20 pages in. So that's something that will give me a bit of a break from prose if I want it. Um, if I want to make some progress on that. Um, the book that I haven't actually started, although it kind of looks like I have because there's a bookmark in here. But mostly I it was because I had to read the like introduction for... Um, about translation for one of my other, my first week of classes. Um, but No Friend But the Mountain by Behruz Bukhani. Um, this, I would like to at least start this because this is the next big text for my uni. I've got the next couple of weeks 
off for mid semester break and then this is covering two weeks but I have a feeling it's going to be a very difficult read so I would like to at least get this started um, I don't know a lot about it I know he wrote it on a phone when he was a refugee in detention on Manus Island and had to smuggle out the various smuggle it out like via text message mostly um, and I believe it's sort of it's translated I'm not entirely sure I think it's kind of a mix of memoir and fiction um, but we really don't know much about it so that is on my list to at least start um, if I want some other shorter stuff um, my next uncanny magazine to read is issue number 52 so I think that's already on my Kindle so that's on my list of things to read as well um, so, uh, if I want some short stories, uh, that is a go. Uh, and the other thing that I probably won't get to, but I'm throwing it on here anyway, it's technically on my currently reading pile, but I picked it up once. I read like a chapter or two, like, seriously, I read a chapter. I liked what I read, but I haven't picked it up since. I just kind of forgot about it. And that's The Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna, which is one of my Our Crate books um from a while back a long time back uh actually i can tell probably tell you uh exactly when it's from because the uh newsletter is in here february 2021 so yeah this is like three years old now so um but i'm sticking it on my pile because it's technically on my currently reading pile even though i haven't picked it up in a long time um and it's an author of color um, so there's actually three books by authors of colors because I would consider Beiriz Bakani um, an author of color because he is uh, Kurdish. Um, but um, so sort of Middle Eastern. Um, but yes. Uh, yeah, that's and anyway, that is the things that are on my TBR. Sorry, I'm a bit fuzzy. Um, but yes, so lots of different options, lots of really different sort of things and genres and styles and feels. Um, as usual, if I really want to, I can pick up anything I want. I'm hoping to get quite a bit read. Uh, so we will see how I go and how distracted I get by um, sport and my back pain. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully this will give me a lot of options um, and I will do my best to do a vlog. Uh, so that will hopefully go up end of this weekend, maybe Monday. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so that's my Dewey's TBR. Happy to discuss any of these books in the comments. Please don't spoil me on them because I haven't read them yet. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all again really soon. Bye.